This fifth episode will cover our third day in Antarctica. I will show you what it is like to cross the famous Le Maire Channel, as well as visiting an abandoned Antarctic base. This episode also features the biggest icebergs we got to see on this trip, and of course penguins and seals. In these videos I will also give you some specific info about the places I visit, such as coordinates and facts. The list of the gear I use will be at the end as well. So sit back, relax and hopefully enjoy this video. Welcome to part 5 of the Antarctic Visual Diaries. Okay, so we woke up to the most amazing sunrise uh, at Cap Renard, uh, which is just before the Mare Channel. One of my goals when coming to Antarctica was to get sunrise shots at Blue Hour and capture the moodiness of the place. Despite the freezing cold and wind, I loved being on the deck waiting for the sun to rise. Some of my favorite shots were taken during that morning. actually managed to sail through the Mare Channel which was amazing, clear sky, got that pink kind of yellow in the morning, um, heaps of icebergs, we saw two minky whales as well and we went through, I don't know how long it took, we were all kind of like shooting and walking around and kind of be amazed by the location. So a few facts about the Mare Channel. Le Mare Channel is a strait of Antarctica and is often nicknamed Kodak Gap. As soon as we got close to it, it was pretty easy to understand why it would be impossible to take a bad photo there. The passage is 11 kilometers long and just 1600 meters wide at its narrowest point. And despite the presence of some pretty big icebergs, we were lucky enough to sail through it. Hearing and feeling the ice crushing underneath you is such a satisfying feeling. We still cannot believe how lucky we were to get such perfect conditions. The calm waters, the pinky skies, and of course, the beautiful icebergs. There was also a penguin standing by itself on top of icebergs as we sailed by, which made for really cool shots. Just after breakfast, we embarked on a quick cruise before making a landing at Port Charcot. It was during this cruise that we got to see the biggest icebergs of the trip, as well as the most interesting ones. The water was so calm and oily, and it made cruising so smooth and enjoyable. Then we managed to get to Port Charcot, um, which we had, you know, like the most craziest view uh, on the big mountains at the back, um, as well on the ice that was near the shore. So some seals, a crab eater, and a fur seal. So Port Charcot is the site of the French Antarctic expedition that was led by Jean-Baptiste Charcot in 1903 to 1905 on board the ship called Francais. Okay, so we're still in the Le Mer Channel area. Um, this is an area that was explored by Charcot and it is absolutely stunning. It's actually quite warm. We just had a Zodiac cruise and it was incredible. Saw some carving. I don't know to where to look, like the peaks in the background are oh, incredible, there's penguins everywhere, uh, yeah, just another day in Antarctica I guess. Then we sailed through again, through the Le Maire Channel, um, saw a whale again breaching and we also got to experience a bit of, bit of wind on a passage that you'll see on the video. And the ocean was pretty dark, I think we were at about 30, 40 knots, so that got pretty intense. Um, Once we arrived at Port La Croix or Port La Croix, it was like arriving at a small Antarctic resort. There was an abandoned Antarctic base there, 
There was a small cabin as well, all on a small island surrounded by glaciers. We also saw some whale bones, which were actually made up several species. And the penguin colony actually lives there too. I found that on that day, I took my time while filming the penguins and managed to get quite a bit. The weather was calm and the island so small that we just had to hang around and not think too much about timing. Exploring the abandoned Antarctic base, which is now a museum, was very interesting and made us appreciate the comfort that we all get in our modern, everyday lives. Being able to post a letter from the southernmost post office was really cool. The letters will actually be sent once the station team will resume occupation after the winter. That same evening, we were all listening to a very interesting lecture, but a few people started glancing at the windows and we realized that an awesome sunset was happening, and it was truly epic. A nice way to end another great day in Antarctica. And yeah, that was just another crazy day. Um, really, really keen to edit some of the photos and the footage. Uh, we shot a lot, I think I shot about 220 gigs yesterday, uh, which is quite a bit. Um, and tomorrow will be Deception Island, which wasn't part of the plan originally, but since we're not going to South Georgia, um, this is a much, much uh, welcomed um, addition to the plan, so really, really keen, and I'll catch you guys later. Bye. In the next episode, 